Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. I hope you're all doing well today. I've got some local pulse, classic lemon and garlic instant hummus to review today. And I'm gonna add some Uncle Bull Cow Monster Mash premium tincture. But before I get into these, I wanna wish happy birthdays to Murad C in Bigwood, Ontario, Canada. Alex B in Guildford, United Kingdom. Dakota W in Revelstoke, BC, Canada. Han Ming L in Kunming, Yunnan, China. Tammy G in Oklahoma, USA. Journey N in Phoenix, Arizona, USA. Dean S in Ware in the United Kingdom. And Dickie B in Denver, Colorado, USA. Happy birthday to all of you. And happy birthday to anybody who is celebrating a birthday today. Happy unbirthday to the rest of us. Let's all have a great day today. I plan on having a great day today. I'm doing this nice and early in the morning because I'm heading up to mom and dad's place to hang out with mom and dad and grandma and do some cooking and meal prep. I'm really excited for that today. So, first of all, let's have some breakfast. <laughs> I need to prepare this first. It shouldn't take too long though. This local pulse instant hummus. Classic lemon and garlic. This is 45 grams, it creates three servings. That's what it says right there anyways. Um, I'm gonna mix this up first. Actually, I'll tell you the ingredients. It needs to sit for two minutes before I consume it. So first of all, the ingredients, organic chickpeas, onion, tahini, olive oil, garlic, crystallized lemon, uh, citric acid, lemon oil, lemon juice, and maltodextrin. Spices, sea salt, sodium bicarbonate may contain wheat, milk, egg, peanut, soy, and tree nuts. So, I have a seat here, I suppose. The directions stir one and a half tablespoons of mix to two tablespoons of hot water. I've got a, a glass of heated water right here. Gradually adjust to desired consistency and drizzle with olive oil optional. Well, we're not gonna drizzle with olive oil today. Um, so let's open this up. I believe I bought this from Fresh's Best here in Kamloops. I wanna say, I almost think that they have a booth at the farmer's market here in Kamloops, but I'm not sure about that. So let's grab our, grab our measuring spoons first. A tablespoon and a half of this. I'm standing back up. Okay. Oh, we got a dog hair. We got a Maggie hair right off the bat. So one and a half. Yeah, that much. I feel like there is a half tablespoon measurement on this, but that's okay. And then two tablespoons of water. I didn't bring an actual spoon to sp stir this. I didn't think of that, but luckily it's not too far to the kitchen there. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna go over to the kitchen. <laughs> and grab a spoon to stir this. And then we'll have our little hangout with Maggie. Oh, she's, she's right here. She's being so cute. She's being so cute. So you can see it's just like a, well, maybe you can't see it. Yeah, you can see it. Just a paste. And we are at four minutes and 20 seconds. And I don't think I'm actually going to add any more mix to this. I think this is, you know, it's a little bit on the thin side, but it might thicken up over our couple of minutes wait here. Um, maybe I'll just detach the camera in the meantime, because Maggie's kind of like right here. Let's we'll have a little hangout with her down there. Here she is, being cute. Hey, there she is. 
I suppose in the meantime, too, we could talk about last night's challenge. I totally forgot about that, actually. Last night, I did Late for Works speed blocks. And I haven't got any official confirmation yet on whether my submission is accepted. Um, pardon me, I am ranked on the leaderboard, but I haven't actually heard back on whether my submission is accepted. Um, I think I got the new world record. I actually submitted, it's actually kind of funny, I accidentally submitted my time as 20 minutes when I submitted my challenge, so I actually had to delete it. Uh, just the submission on the League of Fire site and resubmit it with 20 seconds. But then in the comments, people were pointing out it's actually 19 seconds that I... It shows 19 seconds on the clock when I open my mouth. So if my... If my clear mouth show is accepted, I almost wonder if I should resubmit it as 19 seconds, because... You know, it's only a second difference, but now if somebody gets 19 seconds and beats my 20 seconds, you know what I mean? Um, I'm usually not one to nitpick over one second, but when it's such, you know, that challenge is really, um, how would you say? It's really come down to the, the fine points, you know what I mean? Like... There's, there's some that are two minutes, and then there's some that are 30 seconds and, and, and quicker. So it's getting to that point where we should almost be keeping track like that, you know? But I don't know. I also don't want to be deleting and resubmitting and deleting and resubmitting the challenge a bunch of times. I should just decide on my claim or whatever I don't know I don't know I don't really know how it works even maybe maybe when the footage gets reviewed that it will be corrected I, I really don't know but anyways it's been three minutes now so um I guess technically our hummus is overcooked now <laughs> make sure I get all this dog hair off of my hands here and yeah it has thickened up a little bit again almost gone like almost powdery again no oh, maybe not not quite that's what it looks like in there just a little little snack little hummus snack let's try it out this is local pulse classic lemon and garlic hummus on <laughs> my favorite crackers actually it's just the only crackers I keep at home here. Premium Plus crackers. Eat my shorts. Hmm. Hmm. That's not bad at all. Yeah, that's pretty good for sure. I'm getting that lemon flavor and the, the chickpea flavor. And I suppose maybe even a little bit of that onion. Not a lot of the garlic flavor, but it, maybe a little bit. For a flavor rating, I think I'd give this like a seven and a half out of ten. It's not bad at all. This is good stuff. Um, you could do a lot with it too. You can add a lot of things to it. You can add roasted pepper. You can add garlic. You can add sun-dried tomatoes to this. You can add a whole bunch of different types of things to this. This is a good place to start. Good classic lemon and garlic. <laughs> um, yeah, this is good. I recommend this to you if you're looking for a nice quick snack, healthy, nutritious as far as I know, and this is really good. Yeah, this is a, this is a good quick breakfast. This only took 
three minutes. Should have taken two, but I dawdled. I petted Maggie a whole bunch. <laughs> I would I would definitely restock this. This is actually made in Kamloops. I should have mentioned that at the beginning, but I totally forgot. It's made in Kamloops here. Oh, and this actually... That's okay. <laughs> um, no added preservatives. I didn't mention that. Local Pulse plant-powered products. Their website is localpulse.ca. So... I think now we should add some heat to it. Maggie's eyeballing me. What's up, Maggie? Unfortunately, you can't have any of this because there's onion and garlic in this, Maggie. I'm sorry. Oh, almost missed the cracker there. There we go. <laughs> oh, poor dog. All right. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I like that stuff. I suppose I should give this a shaky shake. I haven't used this stuff in quite a while. I think I gave it a, a thorough shaky shake last night, but I don't remember now. Not a lot. Just a, you know, a few drops. Yeah, I think I put three on each cracker. Let's try that out. Local Pulse, classic lemon and garlic, instant hummus with Uncle Bull Cow's Monster Mash pepper tincture. Heat my shorts. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. That pepper forward flavored tincture goes really well with this. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm trying to think of what that reminds me of. That's good. It's a really good combination. I'm gonna finish this last little. Oh, we got a Maggie hair. Actually, that could be a mustache hair. <laughs> okay, so. Local Pulse, classic lemon and garlic, instant hummus with Uncle Bull Cow's Monster Mash Premium Pepper Tincture for a flavor rating. I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10 with these two together. That's a really good combination. Adding that pepper flavor to this really finished it off nicely. My heat now, probably at, probably a two out of 10. Yeah, I think, I think that puts me to a 2 out of 10. Mostly on the tip of the tongue. Tip of the tongue to the middle of the tongue, I suppose. A slight throat warmth. I wouldn't call it a burn. It's a throat warmth and a chest warmth. Not, nothing down... Actually, no. A little bit of warmth in my stomach as well. But I wouldn't call any of that a burn. It's just a warmth. Surprisingly, it's really raised my body temperature. I just actually got my face sweating quite a bit for only being at a 2 out of 10. I'm not really sure what that's all about, but maybe it's my fuzzy socks that I'm wearing. I don't know. <laughs> I do run warm. But this was a great combination. This was a great parrot, if you will. I would absolutely mix these together, and I would absolutely recommend putting some pepper tincture in your hummus. Yeah, good stuff, for sure. Both of these very good stuff and together great stuff <laughs> actually sorry it's great stuff on their own too but 
Yeah, great snack mixed together. So, I think that's it. I'm gonna get this uploading and get ready to head up to mom and dad's place to hang out with mom and dad and grandma. I'm excited about that. It's gonna be a fun day. I hope you all have an awesome day. I love you all very much. I appreciate you all very much. All the support, every, everything that you do, I appreciate it. So, in this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, localpulse.ca. Hop over there and check out their website. I don't know if I have, but check it out. I should check it out. Up here is some content for you to enjoy. Hope you all have a great day. We'll hang out again soon, I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. I love you all. Bye-bye.